This is uh, session 19 of Human Endocrine Disorder Unit and in this session we are going to study the causes and symptoms of gigantism and dwarfism. Now endocrine system of the body produce hormones and there are so many different types of hormones which are produced by different types of endocrine glands. So every hormone has some associated disorders. So if the hormones are secreted in optimum level, they will do their function. But if the hormones are secreted in more quantity than the requirement, they will cause some problems. If the hormones are secreted in less quantity than the requirement, then also they are going to cause some problems. So the hyper secretion and hyper secretion of hormones always are associated with one or the other uh, conditions, abnormal conditions in the human body. So here we are going to study one such, uh, two such uh, abnormal conditions caused by degrowth hormone. Now, gigantism, so the word means very big, large. So the person becomes very large sized the height is normally seven feet and he looks very big compared to the other normal human beings so such condition is gigantism now how this is caused so gigantism is caused due to the hyper secretion of growth hormone by the pituitary gland so we all know that growth hormone is produced by pituitary gland and it will affect almost all parts of the body, uh, the cells, mus muscle cells, bone cells, etc. And it is responsible for the normal growth of the human body. Now, when it is secreted in more quantity than the normal, so it is going to produce a big body. So that is what we call gigantism. Now, even though they are very large in size, uh, the gigantic people are very weak. Now, what is the main symptom? The condition is uh, the persons are too big. And along with that, they may show some other symptoms like excessive sweating, severe or recurrent headaches, weakness, insomnia and other sleep disorders, delayed puberty in both boys and irregular menstrual periods in girls deafness so these are uh, some of the other symptoms which are associated with gigantism now here uh, in this picture we can see on the left Okay. So, he, this is a normal person, a bodybuilder and he is the person who suffers from gigantism. See the very big body of this person. Okay. So, that is mainly due to the hypo, hyper secretion of growth hormone. Now, let us move on to the dwarfism. So, what is dwarfism? It is exact opposite of gigantism. Dwarfism results in a short stature persons. The persons become very short stature. Their height uh, rarely crosses 4 feet or 11 inches or 5 feet tall. Now it is caused due to the hypo secretion of the growth hormone. So whenever there is less secretion of the growth hormone during the childhood, so it will result in the stunted growth of the body and the persons become short statured, resulting in a dwarf condition. Now there are two uh, types of dwarfism we observe. One is disproportionate dwarfism. When a person has an average sized torso with shorter arms and legs or a shorter torso with longer arms and legs. So here only 
the torso and arms are either short or long whereas the other part of the body develops in a normal size so this is called disproportionate whereas proportionate dwarfism the all the uh, part of the body like length of the leg arms size of the palm fingers etc is proportionately correct but the person himself is very short statured so such condition is called a proportionate dwarfism uh, okay this is an example so a you see the person and uh, here you can see the short statured person okay even though uh, the age is more it just looks like a very young baby now the signs and symptoms of the dwarfism and zygotism include increased blood sugar levels abnormally tall height in case of zygotism and acromegaly enlarged hands feet jaw cheeks lips tongue and nose short stature in case of dwarfism headaches associated with some uh, abnormal secretion of hormones joint aches and uh, they are prone for cardiovascular diseases and they have limited mobility in both the case in both gigantism and dwarfism the mobility is decreased or limited though some other symptoms are also associated with these two conditions now the 